Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica. Today I'm going to do a plan with me in the Erin Condren Life Planner. Although, this is going to be my first rewind spread. If you don't know what a rewind spread is, it's basically a flashback or planning after the fact. So this is not my current week, but this is the week that I'm going to be planning for. I'm going to be using all the real plans that happened to me in this first week of July. So to do that, I have a kit here by Glam Planner, and it's called Glamping, which is super cute. Uh, so it's a camping theme. We have the decorative full boxes here, really pretty floral bordered check boxes. The headers, littles, and a night sky weekend banner. This page, which has some of the cutest deco, and a little sidebar, full box, half boxes, and then the washi strip page, which is on matte. The rest is on glossy. So I do also have other things here off to the side. This is actually how I'm currently using my Erin Condren pouch since it's not attached this year. Before I get ready to do any kind of plan with me, I go to my stickers, pull out anything I think I may use, and then just put it in here. And then I can pull them out and keep it off to the side. So we will start, I believe, with the bottom washi. I like to start that way just because I feel it gets the theme started. So let's start putting those down at the bottom. So I think I'm just going to line up the washi right underneath these full boxes here. These are really cute little lanterns. I honestly don't think I'm going camping this summer, which is a little bit of a bummer because I actually love to go camping. Although, I feel like we've been camping in a strange way. I don't know if you have heard of this uh, new app called Pokemon Go. But we downloaded it because I have a seven-year-old son. And actually, oopsies, thank goodness for Matt. Um, we have been obsessed with it ourselves, me and my husband. We downloaded it, and now everywhere we go, we're trying to catch Pokemon. So we've been even up to the lake nearby, down some trails and stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, I think what I'll do next is... Um, I'm actually, besides the today headers, which I will put up along the top row, I'm going to skip the rest because I have a ton of these Scribble Prince Co. August colored glitter headers, which remind me of gold, and I've been really into gold glitter. Well, I've always loved gold and uh, glitter, so I think... Instead of using the um, other headers, I'll probably just stick with this gold shade. And also up in the corners here, I want to cover up my flags so that they match. I'm going to go ahead and use a pink color. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put those all those items down now. Okay, I stopped myself here because I realized that I'm usually better at placing headers over boxes once they're already down. So I will put the checklist boxes, I think, all down in the center row. And then I think I want to actually, I've done this in one of my past spreads. I staggered the boxes kind of like every other. So that's what I'm going to do with my full boxes I think we might do that together, decide where they're going to go. So I'm going to just go ahead and put down the checklist boxes and then I will top them off again with the glitter headers. Thank you. 
I think now I'll come in with my decorative full boxes and I'm definitely going to save the one with the words let's sleep under the stars to go over here in the sidebar so I'm going to let's see I think I want to start down here put my first decorative box here and then I could use this part for like pre-planning my next box will go up at the top and let's do this lantern one I'm gonna put this little bug bus down here for Wednesday put the little scenic campground right up there I'm gonna do my floral box right here and then I'll put the last two next to each other up here for Saturday and Sunday and then I think I'll pull out the weekend banner and put them over or do I actually want to do my today headers up there yeah I'm gonna put my today headers up across next and then we'll place down the weekend banner just because I'll probably overlap over the today headers so I actually like using uh, glitter headers because in my check boxes, not everything I put in there is a to-do. A lot of it is, but some of it's just info that I want to list. So I don't need it to necessarily say to-do or anything like that. So now I'll take the little weekend banner and go ahead and place that up here. Very cute. So I think I'll work on the sidebar next. I like flipping my planner in half when working on the sidebar. It's just an easier angle for me. I'm going to take my last full box that I saved to go right here. I actually saw somebody do a really cool thing to their full boxes so that it doesn't cover up the J. Lemon Planning did a little snip with the uh, hole punch and it let the J from June or July, whatever month you're in, dip right in and I thought that was really cool. I should have thought to bring mine out. From the headers, I'm now just putting down dinners and then I'm going to grab the sidebar weekly tracker full box I could already tell I'm starting to put this down crooked Ugh, it's driving me nuts I don't know if it was the header or the full box I have never been a master at my sidebar that is for sure hopefully that's a little better Okay, then I am going to take another header, we'll make it YouTube, and then I have one last checklist that I could use for under here. And then for the rest of the space, I think I'll just use some of the decorative washi and maybe even some of this deco because it's cute. So, let's see. Um, Let's maybe do the polka dots. That might be the best blank background for some kind of deco. So I'm just going to pile up every single one of these.
I think I will try to see if I could fit this little bus with the bunting banner. I absolutely think that's so cute. And yeah, he'll fit. We'll just put him right down in there. So now we'll just go ahead and flip back over and get to pre-planning each day. So I'm going to start placing down the events that I did on Monday the 27th here. I'm going to take a half box because I had a doctor's appointment. Just place it towards the top here. And then I'm going to get out a little doctor's icon by Planner Bell Press. I'll just use the, I guess, this medicine bottle because the colors kind of match. And then after that appointment, because my son is out for the summer, I went and I took him to get some frozen yogurt. So by Sponsored by Coffee, I have these mini marquees. We'll put one down for that. And then by Oh Hello Stationery Co. I only have one more little Sunday left, but I'll go ahead and use it so that I can mark that. Then I'm going to move on to Tuesday. Me and my son went out shopping like the whole day, so I'm going to take a half box but place it sideways, up and down. And then alongside there, I want to take my little shopping girl here that I have by the Fox and Pip. Super cute because we did go to Target, but I would use her even if we didn't go to Target. She's holding a little Starbucks or a coffee, which is exactly what I love to do when I go to Target. So I'm going to place her in there. And then because we just had a fun day, he, he enjoyed it as well since we've... Uh, Summer has started. He's had his own chore chart. So he's been earning his own allowance. Just trying to decide what color I want. These all are very pretty, actually. I kind of like the mint green. These are by Clever Gal Crafts, and they have very pretty gold foiling in it. So that's just for fun. On Wednesday, I worked on some filming, so this is by Panda Bird Designs. I love these big little laptops. Big little, that really didn't make sense, did it? But <laughs> I'm going to put it down to mark that I did some filming. And then also by Panda Bird Designs, I have these, which I think are cute as well. She, she hand-read it out herself digitally, and I'll just pick the word film and put it right into the laptop there. And then later in the evening, my son had a baseball practice. So these are by KPL Plans. I think I'll grab this dark blue shade here. Kind of goes well. And there we go. That was pretty much all I marked for our Wednesday events. It's a little crooked though. Okay, so on to Thursday. I'm going to go ahead and pull out another half box. So I want to mark that I did my meal planning. And then I actually have a very cute icon by Planning Roses that says meal planning. So I'll pull this out and I would like to use, I think, think trying to decide uh let's do like one of these shades here and I think that'll just go right into the half box yep that works and then later on that evening my son had a baseball game just repeat the same color I suppose And that is it until I fill it out. So on to Friday. So Friday is like my favorite day of the week. That's kind of when the weekend begins for us. Once my husband gets home, 
It's the day he gets to come home a little bit early, so I'm gonna take a fry, yay, by the planner junkie. Oh, oh, there we go. And then I think I'll grab a little label to mark down what we did for Friday. We went out to eat. So by Oh Hello Stationery Co., I just have these cute little stitched flags. And maybe a yellow will be all right. And we went out to Texas Roadhouse, which is like one of our repeat favorites. Since that's a fun thing to do, I think I'll also grab out one of the Clever Gal Craft Hearts again. Just because it's pretty. So let's see, do I want to change the color this time or stick with that? Oh, uh, let's do, I guess pink might look alright. And then using the littles, I'm going to pull out that it was our payday on that Friday. So I also do a budget and pay the bills. So I'm going to use this little dollar symbol little to represent that. And then right below this little, I'm going to put down that I went to my P.O. box. So we have one with a little box on it. That'll work. And that is it for Friday. So moving on to Saturday. Now, actually, this is like one of the first times that I have gotten a Glam Planner kit that did not have a marquee in it. And I actually need a marquee because we went to the movies. It came with all this super cute deco instead. But uh, so I have to pull out a marquee for Saturday. I have one here by Paper Loving Mommy. And I think I, uh, I'm kind of, I don't know why, but I'm filling this yellow. Although this is supposed to be gold, okay, right? Does it look like gold to you? It does to me. I think this is gold glitter. <laughs> I'm going to pull out this yellow marquee. We went to go see the uh, Legend of Tarzan, which I loved. My husband did, though. He thought that... Uh, they over digitally enhanced the dude's muscles, <laughs> which I was like, I'm fine with that. Then we also had a little birthday party to attend for a little boy that has gone to school with my son. They went to kindergarten and first grade, so they were excited to see each other. So I'm just going to mark that little birthday party with another sponsored by coffee mini marquee. Then I'm going to pull out some balloons by Planner-esque because I think that's appropriate with the party. But I feel like I want to pull in some pink. Which I think is odd because he's a boy, but it's my planner. <laughs> there we go. And then on Sunday, I upload my Erin Condren plan with me's for the pre-planned upcoming week. So I'm going to use a half box on that. And I'm going to pull out some little icons to go next to that. First, I'm going to take a glittered planner by Scribble Prints Co. and match it to the flag color I picked up here, which I, these are so close, it's kind of hard to tell which one I did. I'm gonna say it's this one? Or was it this one? I, oh, I can't tell. They're so close. So, love that. Gotta love some Scribble Prints Co. glitter. And then I do my social media answer comments, get on my Facebook, um, Instagram, so I want a camera to represent Instagram. This is by Planner-esque, and I think I will pull out, let's do, I feel like doing another kind of dark blue shade, I suppose. Really cute. Little camera there, I like that. That was the first one I've taken off the sheet, but I've had this for weeks. 
And then we just had a very, very relaxed Sunday. They don't always go that way, but it really was a lazy day. So I'm pulling out my Little Miss Papery Lazy Day Dots. And I want to choose. What color do I want to choose? We'll probably do another kind of blue shade. Um, Let's go with this one right here. Put that down below. And now what I think I will do is, since I do have my plans for this day, even what I wrote in my checklist, I'm going to go ahead and write all that in really fast. Now, I have never done this, but I've seen that other people have done it. They've taken these Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens and write on glossy paper. I've always just used the Sharpies, um, but I want to give it a try. I just heard you've got to be careful not to smear it. Give it a moment to dry. The only thing that I'm kind of bummed about is that uh, mine's a 0.7. I wish mine was like a 5 or a 3, so it'll come out a little thick, but that is okay. Also, I personally do not like my handwriting, so this is really the first time I am writing in my planner, but I'm going to speed you guys through while I do it. Okay, so this is my spread all filled out. I do have a lot of really cute deco. I'm not sure how much of it can like fit. I definitely don't want to cover up the lanterns. That's busy enough as is. This looks large, but let's see if we could fit a few, a few things up top here. Like this is really cute, like rolled sleeping bag. Um, hmm. Let's see if we could get like the little campground. That's cute. Little sign. We could probably see if I could tilt this little. Either it's probably a guitar to sing "Kumbaya," <laughs> and uh, that might be too large. Let's try the cup. That'll do. And then, oh, can't forget this cute little mushroom. That'll look cute by the sign, I think. Uh, maybe a s'more for sure. And then maybe we have a couple room for like, the moon. Maybe not. It's probably going to cover up June. That looks silly if I do that. Can I fit this anywhere? Well, I have, I didn't fill out my YouTube section all the way, so I'll just put it above the little bus there. A couple stars, and we'll be all set. And I'll save, like, this cute tent for something else, because it's adorable. That's uh, a couple. I think I need at least one more over here. Uh, I got two, so there we go. That's adorable. I love this kit. I hope you enjoyed planning with me as well. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up because that always makes my day. Also, before you go, if you would like to check down below in the description box, I do have shop links, info, Etsy coupon codes to share with you guys. Also, my P.O. Box address, which I just want to let you know if you want to send me a little hello note or something like that. I will do my best to respond right back to you. And until I see you guys next time, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.